And not only, you know, we're no stranger to the heat as we've all learned from you, yeah. but it also impacts our pets' health in ways that you might not expect. Yeah, so tonight we're checking in with Kelby Case and McKenna's Earn Hart. She is out there brave in the heat for us to show just how hot it is for our furry friends. Hey there, McKenna. It is reading about 103 on my phone outside right now, but down here where your pet's paws are is reading about 123. So your pet's favorite pastime might be a little more harmful than you think, but there is an interesting addition to their wardrobe that can help. Animals' paw pads is one of the most sensitive parts on their body. The paws can get really dry and cracked, and, and if they start to get cracked and start bleeding, then you can have some real bad infection problems. Which is why Pets Plus is selling dog boots. They just insulate the dog's paws against things like, like I said, either cold or, uh, or the heat, either one. So they just protect their paws from, from any uh, extreme exposure. About $20 for a pair of boots can save your pet from a world of health issues that cost much more than that. You should look for like heavy panting or excessive panting if they get really lethargic all of the sudden. Any vomiting or diarrhea, those can all be signs of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Put booties or some kind of foot protectant on there. If you do notice your animal getting really overheated or suspecting a heat stroke, obviously take them to the vet, but you can put rubbing alcohol on their paw pads and it'll help cool them down a lot quicker as well. Walking your pet in the grass or finding enrichment activities inside can be just as rewarding for your furry friend without the potential harm to their paws. We want to help people with all their pets' needs, so that's just another need that sometimes people don't realize that they have. A good rule of thumb Animal Services told me is that if you cannot keep your hand on the concrete, then it is probably too hot for your dog's paws to be on the concrete. So somewhere like the grass or the shade or just indoor enrichment would be a better option. Live in South Lubbock, McKenna Earnhardt, KLBK News. I love the booties. My dog would hate them, but I think she would adjust if she could go outside more. Thanks, McKenna.